It is not something you would necessarily expect, but at this very minute, Florida, and specifically Little St. Pete Beach, is ground zero for what happens to the world's whales. Members of the International Whaling Commission from all over the world are here, meeting behind closed doors in what anti-whaling activists fear could be the beginning of the end of the worldwide ban on commercial whaling. It's a huge international controversy. The issue of hunting whales has landed here at a ritzy resort along the St. Pete Beach waterfront because the Dean of Marine Science at USF St. Pete is also chairman of the International Whaling Commission, the IWC. The number of whales killed each year seems to be going up, not, not going down. And, uh, so I think that's, the, for my hope, is that we can find a process that, that will conserve the whales, you know, uh, reduce the number of whales taken. Dr. Bill Hogarth says the U.S. remains committed to the 22-year ban on commercial whaling, but anti-whaling groups are skeptical. The concern is, rather than exerting leadership and pressure on the last three countries that are engaged in, in commercial whaling in 2008, um, the nations of the IWC, led by the Bush administration, um, are bowing to Japanese demands and forging a compromise behind closed doors that will undo the commercial whaling ban. Japan, which still hunts whales under a scientific exemption, has threatened to resume full-scale commercial hunting after heightened clashes between whalers and activists in the Antarctic. Groups like the International Fund for Animal Welfare worry about what kind of compromise might be hammered out with no one watching. I don't think they should be concerned. I mean, I, I think they should be concerned, but I think uh, you know, they should uh, watch the process. And I think we have... Uh, We've, we keep our word. But as Patrick Ramage and the others like him point out, they can't watch the process this week because the meeting is closed. No observers, no media allowed in. Anything decided in St. Pete in this meeting still has to go to the full commission for any kind of vote, and that would likely be sometime next year. Something we're going to have to wait out then. Yeah, yeah. yeah.